Okay, guys, continuing our show here, moving along to the MEP-005. This is a super nice unit we got here. Um, this unit was recently decommissioned. We painted it. Got it all back together. Beautiful, beautiful unit. This is the 30KW line of the... Uh, J.R. Hollinsworth unit. Um, super nice unit. Super nice unit here. Um, this unit is capable of putting out 30 kW, more like 45 to 50. Um, again, you watch the smoke to see if you're overloading it or not. This unit has 1,479 hours on it. We do not worry about that on these units. Um, these units have car engines in them, or truck engines in them. Fully battle short, ready. Um, you can check everything. That's a burned bulb we have there on this one. Got one on order. Hard little suckers to find. Um, super nice unit, equipped with the uh, 24 volt solar charging plate, which we highly recommend. Last thing in the world you want is uh, a dead battery when it comes time to start it up. Let's give you a view here. This is the tactical version. This model has the regulator which you can see right there in the center of your screen as opposed to the uh, hand throttle which would be located here on uh, some of the other models. This is again the precise model. Um, this is designed for um, this unit is designed for putting at exactly 60 Hertz. You adjust it where it needs to be adjusted here through your frequency selection and that's it this sucker stays where it's supposed to be at all times uh, your voltage adjustment is here again this is just a big grown up uh, MEP004 if you've looked at any of my other videos um, you kinda get the idea of what's what let's go ahead and start this unit up you do not need to use your ether primer kit here um, this unit doesn't have one we've taken it off it's not required unless you're uh, frequently around temperatures of oh, 040, 30 degrees, 20 degrees below zero. And then if you are, uh, these units are equipped with block heaters. Uh, run them for a little bit. They have the circulator pump on them. They're good to go. Uh, really reliable. This unit hasn't been run, uh, let's see, this is dis late December. Uh, we haven't run this since Isaac. That was back in August. Um, let's give her a shot. Let's see what she does. White smoke is totally normal. Bad oil pressure gauge. It won't start if you have uh, low oil pressure. This light right here would stay on. Uh, hard gauges to find. They're calibrated to the sending units. Uh, difficult to get. Uh, charging system's good. No load. We're at. 60 hertz on the dot. 110 volts, a little bit of sway because we don't have our breakers closed right now. No load on it. These units like to have a load. Really quiet unit. Um, standing uh, 15 feet away from it, it's probably got a noise output of somewhere around 78 decibels, something like that. Um, really a super nice unit. It's a workhorse. This thing puts out some power. sets.
these units will smoke until they get a load on them and warm up. It's starting to smoke a little bit less right now. As we let it go on, it'll smoke less and less. In about another minute or so, you won't see anything. This is your 24 volt right here. This is your voltage adjust. These are your, they call them peekaboo lights. This one may, you gotta work them a little bit. For military applications, you take a 50 millimeter shot or 50 caliber shot through the radiator, and they'll keep they'll keep on going. Um, this is your day tank. Of course, it will draw fuel from your uh, from your remote source if you have it hooked up. It's got the separate pumps for that. Panel lights. Your remote voltage sensing, that's if you want to parallel the unit or not, if you're remote sensing. Primer, start, and your circuit breakers. Um, these are your synchronizers for your uh, for paralleling with your uh, other generator. Again, these things are workhorses. They're uh, rated at 5,000 feet. Uh, they're designed to have the worst possible conditions uh, you know, working conditions, and they still put out flawless power. I mean, this thing here is still, if you look at it, that's as good as you can get. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shut this unit down again. You can see the smoke is stopped. Just a puff of it. We're going to go ahead and shut our unit off. shut our panel lights off and that's it she's put to bed so guys I hope you like the MEP 005 thanks <laughs>